Bonjour et bienvenue dans cette nouvelle vidéo de notre série Apprenons à parler anglais ensemble. So, sans plus tarder, let's switch to English. C'est parti. So, today, we talk about uh, the lesson 3 of the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So, and the lesson 3 is, mind your own business. That's the title of the lesson 3. Mind your own business. What Robert Kiyosaki uh, mentioned in this book is that uh, the rich, the problem is uh, between rich and poor is that the rich focus on their asset columns while everyone else focus on their income statement. That means that most of us, so uh, middle class people and poor people, focus on their income statements. That means the one to a raise, a small raise on their income. So they want a, a, a higher income. That's why usually mainly, let's say, uh, middle class people will go and ask for a raise. And Robert Kiyosaki mentioned, and I think everybody knows now, he mentioned, he keep mentioning that it's not our income that will make us rich, but the assets we build. So we have to focus on building assets instead of focusing, uh, increasing the income. So we can keep our day-to-day -day job or our nine-to-five job and building aside and the assets that will make us rich. That's why he keeps saying we have to mind our own business. We have to mind our own business. We have to think about our own business, about the business we can build. And when it talked about building our own business, he's thinking about building our assets column, not our income statement. And he mentioned something that I think it's really interesting. It is that financial struggle is often the result of people working all their lives for someone else. That means that he he stated in the book that the problem is uh, people work, so we, we work all in our life for someone else. For example, when we work for a company, first we work for our bosses, we work for the company. Because what the company pays us is less than the value we produce. That's why the company exists. And don't make me wrong, there is nothing uh, wrong about that. There is nothing bad, bad about that. That's business, that's uh, capitalism. So, the company pays us less than the value we produce. So, that's why he said that we work firstly for the company or for the bosses, for our bosses. And second, we work for the government because everything we gain or everything we earn or our income is taxed. And so the government, we work for the government because once we get our income, the government takes his share, takes his part. And then he said that we work for the banks because when we work and we, let's say, we take some debts, we take some debts to buy a house or a, a vehicle or, or something else. So we work for the banks because we have to pay back to the banks the interest. So that's why he mentioned in the book that usually most people or most of us work for other people and we don't mind our own business. We don't work for ourselves. That's why we have to mind our own business. And another thing that he brings to the light is that 
when we go to school, usually what the result is, we want to become what we have learned at school. Let's say we study uh, computer science, so we want to become a computer scientist. We study software engineering, so we want to become later a software engineer. So we study law, we want to become later a lawyer. And he said that it's one of the problems. Uh, that's one of the problems because the idea to become what we have studied prevent us to mind our own business. That prevent us to mind our own business. So, the issue to become what we study prevent us to mind our own business. And when uh, Robert Kiyosaki talked about business, he talked about so building our asset columns. So. That's why he say that when we talk about the business, so the business here resolve around the asset columns, not the income statement. So we have to make the difference. Income statement is different than the asset columns. And we have to focus on building our asset columns if we want to become financial independent or if we want to reach financial independence. So, um, in order to build our asset columns, that we need sacrifice and risk. So, sacrifice and risk are two things that, uh, that we cannot separate from building asset columns. At some point, at some point, we have to take a risk. And what prevent us? What prevent us to take risk is because we don't have financial education. So we fall once again to the education, to the financial education. So that's why, and we end this video with this. That's why Robert Kiyosaki state in the book that we don't take risk because we don't have financial education. So that's why it's really important to educate ourselves financially. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. If I've made some mistakes, please leave it in the comments so we can improve together, so we can learn together. And yeah, thank you and see you on the next video. Let's switch to French. Merci d'avoir regardé cette vidéo. J'espère que ça a été intéressant pour toi. Dis-moi ce que tu en as pensé. Si tu as détecté certaines fautes, certaines erreurs, laisse-les dans les commentaires pour qu'ensemble nous nous développons et que nous améliorons notre expression anglaise. Merci d'avoir regardé cette vidéo. Laisse un like, abonne-toi et rendez-vous pour une prochaine vidéo. Bye bye.